In this video, we are going to discuss how to turn in your midterm portfolio. The process will be the same with the final portfolio. This is a 5A class that I'm using for an example, but the process is the same if you're in 5B. So we're on the home page here. You go to modules, scroll down, and you get to midterm portfolio. And you'll see that there's a number of parts to the portfolio. The top here, you've got your reflection letter. The midterm portfolio reflection letter will need to have been updated. You should have everything from double entry journals to summary, paraphrase, whatever the genres are that we've covered up until then from reflection or personal. You could just have a paragraph on the concept of genre or an informational essay if you're in 5A, textual analysis if you're in 5B. Whatever those things are, you need paragraphs on them. All of those go into the reflection letter. You turn that in here. Samples of coursework. These are any assignments that we've done over the semester up until that point that show the kind of work that you can do. One thing that's not easy to see perhaps from the rest of it is your reading skills. So you might think about including something that shows your reading skills like double entry journals or you could have summaries or entries and discussions that have taken place. Any of those kinds of assignments that you've done up until this point, you can also include your writing sample as a sample of coursework if you want to revise that essay as well. You need two to five samples of coursework under this assignment. Then you have got your revision of the biggest essay for that semester thus far. So for 5A, that will be the revision of the informative essay. You need to do substantial and thoughtful revisions of the essay. If you're in 5B, then that's going to be the revision of your textual analysis essay. The informational essay rough draft is technically part of the portfolio, but because you have already submitted that, you don't have to submit anything else there. And then where it says midterm portfolio grade, you'll notice that there is no text box or any way for you to enter anything. That is down as a separate assignment because it's the only way that Canvas will let me give you a grade for the entire portfolio as a whole. So all of these things say that they're worth zero points and then your letter grade for the portfolio will show up in the grades page as a grade under the midterm portfolio grade. If you have any questions, email me.